Hey kids, Uncle Mikey here. I hope you've all been well. Oh, hey everyone. Hey Mikey. Hey, Mong Tok. You look and sound a bit different this week. Oh, do I? Well, that's because I'm Mullet's French sock, Moulay. Oh, hi, Moulay. What do you have there next to you? Oh, I have bread. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Because I need it so I can live. But, Mikey, here's the problem. I'm always running out of bread. And then I end up getting so hungry. Oh, that's not good, Malay. Well, for the past few weeks, we've been going through the Lord's Prayer from the Book of Matthew. And this week, we're looking at the next line. Give us today our daily bread. Does it mean um, what type of bread should I ask God for? Like, should I ask for white bread? Mmm. Or, or garlic bread? Ooh, wow. <sighs> yummy, 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 yummy. Or sh- should I ask God for sourdough bread? Uh, mm. or, or even uh, should I ask God for uh, French bread? Ah, mm, 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 mm. There's so much choice. I-, I don't know. What should I do? Oh, well, yeah, there's so many choices. But Malay, that's not exactly what it means. But let mm. me share with you a story from the Bible that really helps me to understand this verse. I'm going to go through the story of Moses and the Israelites from the book of Exodus. The Israelites were captured as slaves in Egypt by the Pharaoh. But God saved the Israelites from the Pharaoh, and they managed to escape. But the problem now was that they had no food. But don't worry, God had a plan. He made manna fall down from heaven. Oh, oh, Mikey, like, manners? Like, manners when my my mom goes, Where are your manners, (laughs) Moulay? Moulay, not quite like that manna, but manna, which is bread or flakes of bread, and God made it fall down from heaven for the Israelites to eat. Oh, wow. You know, if I was one of the Israelites, I would have stored bags and bags of manna to eat for later. Hmm, that's really smart thinking, Malay. But God made one move. You couldn't store all of them, otherwise they would go rotten and you would have to throw them away. Oh, that means they had to go out every day to collect bread. Yes, they would have. Ah, I think I know where you're going with this, Mikey. Hmm? So when we pray to God, we need to pray to him daily. Yeah. I can't just pray to him once a week and store it all up. God wants us to speak to him every single day. That's right, okay. Billy. Really. God wants us to speak to him every single day. God knows what we need. He asks us to pray to him that we, he will give us what we need like food, and to trust him for it, even when it doesn't seem possible. Our memory verse for this week reminds us that God promises to meet all our needs because we belong to Jesus. So, Malay, do you know this week's Bible verse? Mikey, I sure do. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. So, Mikey, uh, when should we ask God to give us what we need? Mm. Should I only pray when I um, am ready to eat my meal? Mm. Well, we don't have to ask God for what we need just before we eat, Malay. We can ask God whenever we want. God wants us to trust him and not to worry. He'll give us what we need. And because he does so, what do we say? We say thank you. Oh, thank you. See, Mikey, I do have manners. <laughs> <laughs> How about we bow our heads and close our eyes in prayer? Dear God, our Father in heaven, thank you that we can ask and trust you for all our needs and that we can come to you in prayer every day and to know that you are in control. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yay. Thanks for listening in, kids. And thanks for helping out, Malay. Make sure you save some bread for me. Oh, no problems, Mikey. Thanks for having me. See you, kids. See you, Mikey. Bye. Bye. Bye.